it's ginger welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a little nail design for you and i'm so excited because it's been so long since i've done this oh okay so what i have on my nails right now um is, the, is acrylic uh one of the other students at school did these for me and she did a beautiful job and she used white tips which is why they're white underneath um but she was trying to do a little design for me and she was going to draw a little fox and she was really it was going to be really really super cute but we got busy um some clients came in that we had to do so we didn't have time to finish so when i got home i just um i kind of reshaped them just a little bit to make them a little bit shorter and then i just polished over them with this beautiful opi color I love this. This is called Tickle My Fancy. There we go. And oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It's a like a mauvey pink kind of um, just a beautiful fall shade, but not brown. You know, I love it so much. And on my thumb here. So <laughs> I put two coats of this over the acrylic and then I top coated with my Sesh V and I must have got some red or something on my sesh feet because this was the first one that I did and as soon as I ran that top coat down I got this streak on my nail I was so upset but and then there was just a little bit here too but that's okay the rest of them are fine so we'll just make do with that and figure it out so um, I picked this color up just the other day because it just struck me. I had to have it. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, that is so pretty. This is Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the shade Petal to the Metal. And it is like a very beautiful metallic pink. I did check and see if this stamped. It does. It's kind of white. Um, but I think it would be beautiful over like a white. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So shimmery, metallic y. I just, oh my God, look at that obsessed with this color so what I want to do is something completely out of the season because I've been dying to use these nail vinyls from Twinkle Tea so that's what we're gonna do because I like these two colors together and I want to use these nail vinyls so let's do a fun design so I have these are the mermaid scales Ooh, so pretty so I'm going to try to put mermaid scales with this color over this color and see how it turns out I hope it turns out good because I'm really excited so this I did yesterday so it's been top coated that's been sitting for a nice long while so we shouldn't have any issues with the vinyls and you guys have never used nail vinyls before so this is new for me okay now I know let me get my with this. that these can be a little um, difficult with the cutouts and that's some tricks I've learned to go fast. That's one. And to turn your vinyl over and kind of go like that. Yeah, there we go. And that'll take off the little excess. There we go. Look at that. That worked perfect. Okay. So let's see which way do I want to do this this way or this way I think this way okay we're gonna do that on the ring finger I probably should put some liquid latex down but I'm not going to I'm just going to wing it guys it's been so long since I've done a video okay You're getting definite first time user with a nail vinyl kind of impression. <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure it's pushed down all the way so I don't get any leakage. And I can see it's raised in a few spots. Now, I know you can cut them to help that. So let's do that. Try to cut the, the border off of it here and see if that'll help. Get rid of that piece okay push it flat okay that's better already and I have also seen you can use a squishy stamper to help smush it down but let's get the border off of this side too okay 
and make sure that side is down. Let me find my stamper. I'll just use this little guy right here. And just smush them down. Make sure it's smushed way good for the nail. I think I'm going to cut the top too because this seems to be raised up right here. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. This might be a bear to remove now. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, I'm worried now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so... I hope it turns out good. I'm excited. Alright, let's see. Let's zoom you guys in here. Okay, so I'm worried because there still seems to be a lot of spots that are sticking up, but we're going to go with it and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to do a nice, generous, thickish coat. Ooh, okay. And pull this off before it dries. So right away. Let's see what happens. Okay, whoa, where'd I go? Way too much polish. And it's pulling up everywhere, so. But, that's my first try at a vinyl. <laughs> it's not terrible on some spots. And I like the effect. So, I'm going to try and do this again better. But, I'm going to have to fix that polish so I will meet you right back I fixed this up as good as I can without removing the polish and what I did is I took a no wipe a gel top coat and went over these since I did these yesterday and that way if I make a mistake again I won't have to worry about messing up the polish I can just wipe it off and it's not gonna mess it up because it's gel now yay I love gel <laughs> okay let's try this again now I'm going to try not to put it on the back side to get off the little extra scales this time because I think that took away some of the stickiness to it. So I'm just going to try to get the corner up and rip it as fast as I can to hopefully get all of this um, cutouts off of it. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. Okay. Sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. What did we decide? We decided to go this way. All right. So my phone just died so I had to go delete some stuff I thought I didn't have enough storage so I deleted a few things and I'm back and I'm still trying to get this vinyl to stick down so the issue I'm having <clears throat> is it doesn't want to stick I don't think it's sticky enough see right here at the top it won't stick down I trimmed it a bunch I I think I'm doing this right. This is probably 100% user error, okay? Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with the vinyls. I'm a stamping kind of girl. I just need to get a mermaid stamp. That's what I need to do. So, yeah, it's not sticking good for me, guys. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. We may have to switch gears here and do something different. But it's like it sticks down and then it pops back up and it just won't stay down and I'm squishing the crap out of it and it just won't stay down all right I 
I don't think it's gonna work. I'll give it one more go though. Let me try. I'm gonna try not to flood it as bad as I did last time. I was thinking I needed a ton of polish, but I don't believe that's the case. We're just going to do it with a normal amount and try to get it where it needs to be. And terrible but not great either so all of you ladies out there who can do vinyls somebody teach me <laughs> that is terrible yeah okay so vinyls are hard for me <laughs> um, it's just one of those things where you need to practice because I've obviously never really messed with them before and I need some practice. So, let's try to do some stamping. I'm thinking I'm gonna try this pretty little plate here. This is from Born Pretty, and it is BPX42 mask. So I think I'm gonna use these feathers and see how that works. See? And I'm gonna use my big blue stamper that I love so much. Okay guys, so I did a couple of tests and the InstaDry um, was not stamping over this color very well. They're too similar. Um, so I just went ahead and polished a coat of it on over this on my ring fingers and I'm going to use that um, as a base and I'm going to stamp in white. I'm just going to use my white funky fingers and I'm going to do these little feathers here on this plate. And we're going to stamp over that in white and just have a cute little ring finger accent. Okay, and now that I've done the stamping on both hands, I'm just going to top coat that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use gel, just because I know that the gel won't smear it and I'd like to keep it on there for a while. So I'm just using my um, Madame Glam No White Top Coat and give that a quick cure. Okay, so those have been top coated. And then for my thumb where it had that weird um, streak, I just put a little bit of striping tape on it to kind of cover that up. And I think that's going to do the trick. You can still kind of see it, but you really have to look close. And I know it's on there a little crooked, but the streak was a little crooked. So I did my best to cover it. So I'm just going to go with that. I think it's going to work just fine. And I'm just going to gel top coat that as well. I love Madame Glam No White Top Coat. So perfect. Beautiful. All right, and I'm just going to finish everything off here with a little bit of cuticle oil. Which my nails desperately need. Or my skin, should I say. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm so sorry about the bad video. Um, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things, and hopefully um, I'll get this a little better. I am going to move where I film from my house to my salon, and I did mention this before. Um, when I say my salon, it's not my salon, but it's the salon I'll be working at. So. 
Um, and more details on that will be coming up in my next vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and like these nails. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And I want to say thank you to everybody for your support. And stay tuned. There are some exciting things coming. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.